What's going on guys? This is Raymond Iron by McKinney. Today I want to talk about everything happens through. Everything, every event, experience, circumstances, they're all happening through you simultaneously. And what you see on the outside is the effect. The, the cause is all the experiences, events, and circumstances that are happening within you subjectively. And the effects are what are being revealed objectively, revealed relative to you, mirroring to you. Like um, this room here, this room here I'm in, I'm subjectively tapped into, uh, consciously or unc unconsciously. This room right here, my living room, it appears it's out, but it's the effect within myself, the living room already exists within me. And it's being revealed to me relative to myself. Um, and that's where I'm going. Well, that's, this is what I talk about when it comes to space and time. Space being this room here, though it appears without, it's within the imagination, like William Blake says. The space that occupies this room, that seem, this semen space that occupies this room, is projected from my own mind relative to myself. Time and space are only conditions of our own minds. We condition circumstances, um, events, and places and things with our own minds. Our names even. Names, nationalities, sexes, uh, political parties, all these things. They're conditions of the mind. But our true, sel our true uh, selves are collective unconditioned awareness or consciousness. What you are aware of, your awareness gives light. Uh, your awareness occupies your mind, and your mind projects uh, fragments of the awareness and mirrored back to you. Say like this room. This is only a fragment. It it's a fragment, a piece of consciousness mirrored back. Um, the totality of consciousness is already here. The totality of all creation already exists right here in this eternal moment here and now. Time and space do not exist um, the way we think it does. Time and space. All time and space, past, present, future, they all exist right here, right now, as you're watching this video. Your perfect relationship already exists. Your financial situation, your financial abundance already exists. They all exist within you. They're just, because nothing's physical, guys. Nothing is solid. The money you hold in your hand, it's not solid. It's a state of mind. It's a state of being. When you tap into a state of a um, receiving money, you're going to receive money. You say like you receive money, um, say from your boss or say you receive money just uh, from a gift from someone. That's a state of being. When you're in the state of receiving money from someone and you tap into that state consciously or unconsciously, you will, you must receive that money. This is an absolute psychological law, um, of absolute because with consciousness, consciousness is the absolute fundamental uh, operating power. Consciousness is uh, multiplying. It's pretty much a multiplied into legions of forms of itself. Consciousness is mirroring, affecting, and informing itself moment by moment. I always love to say that. Consciousness is mirroring, informing, and affecting itself moment by moment. So the people, so maybe if people say things that you may not like, there's something, it's either within something within you or that's like they're projecting their own weaknesses onto you. A tar, Cause um, it's either, it's either or in that situation, but um, don't be a doormat to people who just um, criticize you all the time. Realize Life is a mirror, guys. I'm not saying to be a door. Not saying to be a doormat. Still protect protect your boundaries energetically. 
Uh, but uh, yeah, you there's an un, there's a healthy way of manifesting, and then there's an unhealthy way of manifesting. The unhealth. Let's start with the unhealthy one, the unhealthy way, where it's like you say, well. Uh, like if you're always living in your head, always talk about this stuff and never embodying, never living. You're always talking, 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 talking. And you're never living what you desire, what the desires you have. Say if you're always talking about these things, over obsessing, over analyzing, manifesting, and you never actually put it to a test by living it. That's unhealthy. I find that it's the unhealthy addiction to manifest when we talk about study manifesting. Now, sure, yeah, it's good to study this stuff. It's it's good to study about the mind and all that stuff. But if it's never applied, um, it's useless knowledge. And when it comes to manifesting, guys, it should be kept low profile, meaning don't talk about it to death. Live it. Live it and do not verbally um, talk it to death. Um... And then the healthy way of manifesting is like what I said, live it, live it. Don't tell anyone verbally, unless if you, um, unless if it's you, you feel compelled to share it with other people. Don't, don't, don't go out there sharing. Don't go constantly telling someone, guys, manifesting is real and all that stuff. Let people think for themselves. It's literally living. It's state. It's a state of mind. Your state of being, your self identity. That's manifesting. You're just changing the conception of yourself, guys. You're not changing anyone else. You're only changing the way you view the world, and the world around you mirrors. You're selecting, um, Jacob, like say Jacob's ladder in the Bible, I believe, where it symbolizes states of awareness, increasing and decreasing states of awareness. And uh, when we go to higher states of awareness, we become more aware of the synchronistic moments. And uh, that's, uh, I think it's awesome. Like I said, guys, you can make life a playground or a battlefield, a heaven or hell. This power, there is no other power. This power kills makes alive, wounds, and heals. Use it righteously. Use this power productively. Don't abuse it. It's literally at your hands. It is at our hands. This power is neither good nor bad in itself, but the way it's intended is what makes it appear so. For this power is at the absolute awareness, our absolute awareness. Um, absolute unconditioned awareness is the operating power of the universe. Again, it seems so too good to be true, right? That's where that's where faith comes in, guys. Faith in the unseen. Calling things in a being not seen as though they were. So and then, and then I'll mention another thing when I think of space and time. I'm not moving through space and time. Say if I'm running. I'm not running through space and time though it appears that way. Time and space events are running through me. I'm drawing, like if I'm, say if I move over to that TV over there, that TV's drawn into me. I'm intending. When I, it's, though it appears I'm moving physically across time and space, it's actually being drawn to me. Because I intend, because my all my physical movements, all my objective physical movements, are automatic. Everything in the physical world, guys, is automatic. It, it responds to our subjective intentions. Our subjective intentions reveal objective outcomes. Accordingly, when I say subjective, I'm talking about inner the inner experiences that we have. The subjective inner experiences we have reveal um, the objective outer experiences accordingly relative to yourself so change the way you intend and so change your inner intentions direct your inner intentions and you'll notice the outer objective experiences uh, mirror your inner intentions accordingly 
So I hope this video helps and I bless you all and happy manifesting.